Hi everybody, it is November 25, 2018. I'm going to start first with our economy. Mainstream media is saying that it's just doing beautifully when it is not. And then I'm going to go on to Trump's secret advisory committees and secret evangelical um, panel or whatever. A whole lot is happening in the secret and that's not the way to make America great again. 11 signs that the US economy is starting to slow down dramatically. Pace at which things are changing is shocking the experts. Okay, I have to let the cat out. Hold on. Out in, out in, out in, out in. The cats are acting pretty bizarrely. Oh yeah, and those frequencies, well, that's another video. So, number one, when economic activity is rising, demand for oil increases and oil prices tend to go up. But when economic activity is slowing down, demand for oil diminishes and oil process, uh, prices tend to go down. That is why what is happening to the price of oil right now is so alarming. I was really shocked when I drove past a gas station here in South Carolina and noticed that the gas was $2.15. Well, only a few days before, it was like two forty something. Wow, that sure did go down very quickly. Number two, one new poll has found that only 13% of Americans plan to buy a home in the next year. That number has fallen for three quarters in a row, and it is now down by almost half over the last 12 months. As the market dries up, the inventory of unsold homes is absolutely soaring nationwide. Inventory countrywide soared 86% among single-family homes and 188% among condos in October compared to a year prior. Is the housing industry about to go bust? Perhaps so. California once had the hottest housing market in the entire nation, but now home prices in the state are plummeting like it is 2008 all over again. According to the latest Bank of America survey, global fund managers are the most bearish that they have been since the financial crisis of 2008. 44% of the fund managers expect global growth to decelerate in the next year, the worst outlook since November 2008. What's more, 54% are anticipating a slowdown in Chinese growth in the next year, the most bearish they've been in over two years. America's ongoing retail apocalypse continues to accelerate. Things are going so poorly for some mall operators that they are handing over their keys to lenders even before leases end. Yes, malls across America. Kind of dead. Despite the eruption of a major trade war, the U.S. trade deficit with the rest of the world is on pace to set a brand new all-time record in 2018. One new study discovered that 62 percent of all U.S. jobs do not currently pay enough to support a middle-class lifestyle. Most Americans barely have a financial cushion at all. 58 percent of all Americans have less than one thousand dollars in savings. More than half of all U.S. children are living in households that receive financial assistance from the federal government. As the economy slows down, an increasing number of Americans are being forced into the streets. More than half a million Americans are currently homeless, and that number is growing with each passing day. 
And I would venture to say that we probably have far more who are homeless than this half a million, which has been, well, I think for years they were stating the number at like 450,000 and it didn't seem to change much. I thought that was odd. So now it's a half a million, 500? No. I, I would venture to say it's over a million. Perhaps even a lot more. General Electric appears to be on the verge of collapse. GE on the verge of collapse. Not a financial company, but could GE be our next Lehman Brothers? If you have not already positioned yourself for the coming crisis, now is the time to do so. As we saw in 2008, markets tend to go down a whole lot faster than they go up. Once things get really crazy on Wall Street, the real economy can fall apart at a pace that is breathtaking. In 2008, millions of people lost their jobs within a matter of months. This will happen again, and there are an increasing number of signs that this is going to happen much sooner than most people had anticipated. So, what do I have here? George Soros sold a huge amount of Facebook and Netflix stocks just before the tech crashed. He's just so smart, isn't he? No. No. He absolutely gets insider trading information. He avoided a loss of more than $17 million by dumping shares of Facebook, Netflix, and Goldman Sachs just before the big crash started happening. In other words, he made out like a bandit by selling at the peak of the market. Is he smart? Or did he get some inside information? Or is he lucky? No, I think he absolutely does get inside information. So the text Stocks lost approximately a trillion dollars in value. Many investors were devastated, but not Georgie, who's friends with Trumpy. Let's see, what is this? Stock market crash. The Dow has fallen nearly 2,500 points. And the, I don't know, Fang stocks lost a trillion dollars. Uh, this year, the stock market is crashing and Wall Street is in panic mode. On Tuesday, the Dow closed at nearly 2,500 points lower than the all-time high set in early October. And what was happening to tech stocks was even more dramatic. A loss of more than trillion, a trillion dollars in value. We haven't seen anything like this since the financial crisis of 2008. And at this point, all of Wall Street's gains for 2018 have been completely wiped out. Global economy has deteriorated. Yes. When economic activity is booming, demand for commodities such as oil, copper, and lumber goes up, and that generally causes prices to rise. But when economic activity is slowing down demand for such commodities falls and that generally causes prices to decline. Well, in recent weeks we have witnessed a decline in commodity prices unlike anything that we have witnessed in years. And many are concerned that this is a very clear indication that hard times are ahead for our global economy. So, Jim Cramer, crazy, crazy Jim Cramer. Many CEOs have told me about how quickly things have cooled. The U.S. economy is slowing down at a pace 
that we haven't seen since the last recession. And this is something that I have been tracking extensively. But now the slowdown is so obvious that even some of the biggest names in the mainstream media are talking about it. Jim Cramer stated on CNBC that a lot of corporate executives has have told him how quickly things have cooled and he says that many of them are shocked because this wasn't supposed to occur so soon and guess what Americans are killing themselves at a greater rate if America is such a happy place why is the suicide rate up 34 percent since the year 2000 because it's not a happy place because people are hurting because so many are on psychiatric medications that induce suicidal ideation and suicidal behaviors we have so many people sick now and doctors are well, for the most part, useless. We have so many people hurting financially. But we also have a social, our social fabric has just been shattered, torn, and people have no where to turn. Nowhere to turn for help. I guess I'll get into Trump's secret uh, committees and councils and panels and boards in the next video. Yeah, our high standard of living. We don't have a high standard of living anymore. The middle class has been gutted. This uh, internet, social media, the iPhones, the smartphones has not brought people together, but has isolated them. They just sit staring at a screen. And many of the young think that that's a relationship. Yeah, we're, we're really screwed. We're screwed up. And unfortunately, well, guys, things are going to get a lot worse, a whole lot worse. So, I do hope that uh, you are preparing yourself. Everything that you are hearing from the Trump administration, from mainstream media, from your government officials, is just an abject lie. In regards to the economy, It amazes me that that there are awake people who actually believe the horseshit that they get from the Trump administration and from uh, mainstream media. Stock market plunges again. Global stocks down five weeks in a row. Eight trillion dollars in wealth wiped out. Wild swings up and down, very reminiscent of what we saw in 2008. So I have been um, giving attention to channels that either interview or the actual channel owner is in the field of finance 
and everyone is saying the same thing. Get prepared. Yes, things are coming. Bad things are coming. Far worse than 2008. Yes, a lot have been speculating for throughout the eight years of Obama and the two years of Trump. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's been a boiling frog scenario with more and more Americans getting pushed over the edge. Just because you haven't gone over the edge yet doesn't mean that this economic collapse hasn't come to millions upon millions of Americans already. So, yeah. Stock up on food, your water. Uh, do the research in how to prepare for a collapse that may be coming very shortly. I'll link below to the articles.